So if you've been struggling with anxiety for years, it's completely understandable why you would come to the conclusion that anxiety is extremely difficult to overcome. And I felt that same way myself because I had a difficult early childhood with an alcoholic mom. Before my dad and stepmom got custody of me, life was unsafe, dangerous, and very scary at times. And I know with anxiety that you feel like you're so different from other people who don't struggle. And this often makes you feel inferior, like something's really wrong with you. And because you have anxiety, you feel like surely my brain must be defective. And let's be honest, anxiety is really depressing because you know you're not living up to your full potential because you're spending so much time and energy just trying to manage your anxiety. Time and energy that could be used to advance your career, improve your relationship, or just spend time enjoying life. And then if you get help for that anxiety, you often spend years and years in therapy trying to recover and not making progress. That was my story. And it's super helpful when you go to see a therapist and you begin to realize for the first time that your anxiety is not your fault. And it came from these things that you've gone through in the past. But many people continue to think the answer to overcoming their anxiety is to think about, to mentally relive and habitually process events from the past. And maybe that works for some people, but it was an absolute disaster for me. Mentally rehearsing traumatic events and negative events from your past really has little, if any, impact on resolving your anxiety. And unfortunately, talking about the very things that created that anxiety to begin with will often just hardwire the anxiety deeper into the brain, making it more of a problem. So this is why when I went to therapy every week, my anxiety only got worse because I was continuing to reinforce the thinking patterns that began back in childhood that were continuing to foster my anxiety in the present moment. And of course, this made me feel more broken and defective and like I would never recover. And I began to believe that my anxiety was a particularly difficult case and solving the problem of my anxiety was going to be incredibly complex. Now, it's understandable why I believe that. And it's understandable why you may believe that too. But the simple fact is, it's just not true. Your anxiety is driven by your thinking. And your thinking is created by your core beliefs. And I know you've probably been trying to change your thinking like I did. And it was very difficult. But that's because you're trying to change your thinking on a conscious level. And that is challenging. But changing your anxiety on a subconscious level, that is a total game changer. So I know there is more than one way to impact the subconscious mind, but I am absolutely convinced that using hypnosis is the most effective way to access the subconscious mind and create that shift in thinking patterns and beliefs, those beliefs that are driving your anxiety to begin with. So changing anxiety is really not difficult when you work with the subconscious mind. The reason you're probably still struggling is the same reason I struggled for many years. I believed my anxiety was difficult to eradicate. Now, that was my experience at the time. So, of course, I thought that that was true, but it isn't true. And back then, I really didn't honestly know about the subconscious mind. I learned about the subconscious mind at a weekend retreat that I attended in Cleveland, Ohio. And that weekend changed my entire life. For the first time in my life, I understood where my anxiety was coming from, my subconscious mind. Now, later... I learned how to impact my subconscious mind through the power of hypnosis. And I even learned how to work on myself with self-hypnosis. So I literally spent 20 years, yes, 20 years trying to overcome anxiety. And I honestly made very little progress. And in just a few short months using hypnosis, I found freedom from my anxiety. And this is why I started this channel, because my heart just breaks for all these people who are still suffering. I know what it's like to suffer year after year and really think you're never getting better. Anxiety is an absolutely miserable experience. And if I had my way, everybody who struggles would find freedom.
So thank you for watching my video. I hope you will subscribe to this channel. I am doing my best to post regular videos on overcoming anxiety. And if you'd like to learn more about transformational hypnosis and how you could work with your subconscious mind, click the link below to visit my website at tiffanycapello.com. I hope you'll consider sharing this video with a friend or family member who's struggling with anxiety. And once again, I'll reiterate, your anxiety is not difficult to overcome. You are not stuck with your anxiety. 20 years I battled anxiety and in just a few short months, I was free. Working with the subconscious mind is a complete game changer. I was so bad. There were times I was too afraid to leave my own house. I didn't drive. And my anxiety got so bad, it actually started causing physical health problems. And I developed chronic infections and other things. So I was so stressed out and spending so much of my time having panic attacks. So if you're thinking to yourself as you watch this video, yeah, Tiffany, but that's you. My anxiety is really, really bad. Or I've had a lot of childhood trauma. I can tell you I was really, really bad. And so I know that if I can overcome my anxiety, so can you. And many of the videos on my channel are going to help you do just that.